left corner. Oh, yeah. You're just gonna break it apart like that. Our Sunday tradition of cinnamon rolls. Are you ready? What's your favorite part about cinnamon rolls? Cracky. Eating the what? What is that? The icing? It's very yummy. So can you crack it like an Oreo? breakfast. We have cinnamon rolls for the kids. We have biscuits for Wayne and I. And one of my favorite breakfast parts is our smoothie we've been drinking for about a month or two. And it's a green smoothie and you don't feel so bad about eating biscuits and sausage and eggs. So I'll show you how we make our green smoothie in a minute. How's Harper Pat? <laughs> are you making sure? Bathroom. Are you ready? Well, let's. Do you want to wait? No. Of course not. Mm -hmm. No, Mom. Let's do this one. Thank you. I love this one. With me? Okay. Turn this way. Turn this way. Put it in here. Alexa. Oh, so I love using Alexa because she can set multiple timers at once. Whereas if you use your stove or microwave, you can't do that. So I love having, we may have five timers at one time on Alexa. Rolls are ready, and I'm going to make our green smoothie. I'm not sure what it's called, we just call it the green smoothie. I start off with about a cup of water, just regular, I use ice cold water. And if I'm making it for Wayne and myself, which I usually am, I do a little over a cup. So, tricky thing about this smoothie is if you don't put it in the right combination, it takes a lot longer for it to grind. I may have to jab it in and resituate everything. So I like to put the water in first, and then I do our greens, which spinach always tastes better, but whatever I can find, I use. I, a big handful, stuff it down in there really good. This one's a little bit more bitter. It's um, spinach, chard, kale, and mizuna. I'm not sure how you say that. I'm probably butchering the name. I have never been a mango girl. I've never bought mangoes, never eaten them. But they're pretty good in here. So I just get this from Kroger. It's 10 ounces. It's a, you're supposed to put in about a cup. And I probably use three fourths of a bag each time. So that makes it easy. Stuff it down in there. A little measure. So this recipe is really customizable. You can use one or two avocados, one or two lemons, and one or two bananas. And so far, we tend to like more bananas, and occasionally we like a little bit more lemons. It's great for liver detoxing, so I like to add as much lemon as I can handle. One big lemon or two small lemons is usually what I go with. So you can cut it in half just to have easier access. And I just squeeze it in. And I, I don't worry about seeds or anything. I just squeeze as much as I can. And I, for my avocado, I Sometimes I'll just squeeze the pit out and then just discard it. It's just easier that way. 
and just peel the bananas and throw them in and you're gonna be done. I use this in our Vitamix, but you can use it probably in any blender. I guess you may wanna be more careful about lemon seeds and whatnot if you use a blender. And this makes a, a good two glasses for Wayne and I. A good, probably, I don't know, 16, 24 ounces for both of us. And we drink it just about almost every morning. So I usually let it blend for about a minute and then you're good. So the consistency is kind of gross. It's very thick. It's your avocados that make it so smooth and so filling so you don't get hungry before lunch. Now for the taste test. This is, this is the best breakfast smoothie I've ever had. So now we're gonna finish up eating and then for the kids' favorite part of the day, you guessed it, chores. Well, almost done, but it's time for us to go get ready for church. Okay, I'm ready for I'm you. Going, Mama. Launch the... Okay, launch Mama, the... I'm going. Go, Hudson. 